I wanted to share with you how I thread the loom when it's a more complicated pattern. This is the pattern I'm doing right now. I believe one of the names for it is an advancing twill. And it's on eight shafts. Now I've already threaded all of this and I folded it over and I started threading all the way down to here. So right now, all of these threads represent all of that that I just threaded. That up to there and down to here. And each one of these numbers represent one of the shafts. What I do is I like to count out loud when I'm doing it because I don't want to make a mistake. Another nice thing about this particular loom, it's a spring loom, I can take the beater off and I can also take the front beam off and I can get in really close to these Texlov heddles. I'll just do a little threading right now to show you the way that I do it that seems to work for me at this particular time. I may change ways I do things later on. I just finished with the this one and the next thing I'm going to be doing is going two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now some weavers leave their thread between the leaf stick. So I could just keep continuing like this. And some of us like to take it out of the leaf stick. When you leave it in, if you make a, an error down when you're finishing, you check everything, you can maybe find where that thread is a lot easier or if you have a breakage or whatever. But in this situation, I'm gonna reach back and take the one in the back. That's what I find works for me. But again, everyone does what's comfortable for them. And like I said, I'm gonna count out loud. That's two. And I slide the next one over. Three. Four. five, six, seven, and eight. I like to stop at a particular number that makes it a little bit easier to find where I am and to continue. So at this time, I stopped right at this eight. So I'll be continuing on here. I won't be going to that seven. I'll be stopping at the eight. And then I'm gonna keep repeating. This pattern might have 10 or 11 of these repeats. I can't remember how many. I just know that there are a lot of threads that need to be thre uh, threaded into all these heddles. A little back, a little behind the scenes as to what goes into threading some of the uh, more complicated weave structures. This will be used for some shawl ponchos and some shawl coats.